Let me show you two ways how to hard reset your Samsung A56. First, if you actually have access to your phone and you know your security and everything is okay with your phone, you simply need to wipe everything, so maybe you want to sell it, we can simply go in the settings and click general management over here and click on the reset over here. And you can also like reset individual settings over here or do full factory data set here. So again, scroll all the way down. Also tick this if you want to remove your eSIMs as well. So if you do not remove them after you reset, your eSIM will still be available on this phone and then simply press the reset button. And next, if you have forgotten maybe your security or something has happened to your phone, then we will need either a computer or laptop and also your charging cable. Then simply plug it in and uh, essentially we will need to do a force restart on this phone. So the way we do it, we simply hold the power button and the volume down button. As soon as you see that it shuts down, we are going to jump to holding the power button and the volume up button. So let's do it. I'm holding the power and volume down. It usually takes maybe like 10 seconds. So ignore whatever it says and you see basically as soon as it shuts down, jump to holding the power and volume up button. So, and keep holding. So, as soon as you see this uh, appear, essentially we can release. And next, we are going to need to like use the volume buttons to navigate down here to this wipe data factory reset. So, select with the power button and then again cycle down to this factory data set and again confirm with the uh, power button. Uh, by the way, again, uh, once you do this, again, everything will be, be deleted essentially from this phone, all your pictures, videos, stuff like that, so make sure you are okay with that. Also, one more thing, if you actually have Google account on this phone, it will ask for the password basically on your Google account that was previously used on this phone. So if you do not know the password of your Google account, then do not do it because you will just break your phone. Anyway, Good luck.